Good morning, welcome. So glad you could join us. We've got some really great verses today. Very practical, helpful, encouraging, and uh, hopefully you will find them useful. So let's pray and see what the Lord has for us this morning. Lord, thank you so much that your word is alive. It, there's, there's life in it. It's not just print on a page. It, there's words that, that, that transform, that can inspire, that can challenge us, that can change us. Come Holy Spirit and cause these words this morning to have effect in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, well we read that kind of sobering and uh, uh, quite exciting verse, I think, yesterday. We are in 1 Peter chapter 4 and we got to verse 7 yesterday. The end of all things is near. Wow, yes, it's true. These are urgent days, days to be uh, alert and mindful of what's going on around us. Okay, um, sober mind so you can pray. I, I, it just occurred to me thinking of that, you know, um, about end days be alert and sober-minded um we're not burying our heads in the sand we'll be we'll be aware of what's happening around us but what are we doing with it we're praying and you know there's some good advice there that you know um when you read the news when you hear the news your let our reflex be to pray be alert sober-minded so you can pray in these last days uh, and i'm reminded of i think it was bon hopper who spoke about uh having the newspaper in one hand the bible in another um that's how we'd be as christians we're the end of all things is near be alert sober-minded so you pray so if we as we hear of things happening let our reflex be oh god have mercy oh god be working in this situation oh god pray for that let prayer be the reflex in these urgent days and then verse eight this is a, a lovely verse here above all of of the, of the first importance love each other deeply you know it's it's really struck me of late i, I know it's obvious and I, the, the the importance of loving one another as christians this by this will all men know you're my disciples you love one another it, you know let's not be too british about this we, we love one another we 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 you know the covid's well it's behind us to embrace to 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 value to to love it's 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 important the way we are to one another the holy spirit's in us the, the fellowship of the holy spirit we we've we've we the life of christ within us and it should be impacting the way we treat one another that's why our, our life groups are so important and the fellowship in church family is so so important keep read on above all love one another deeply from the heart love one another deeply it's the agapeo love, the agape love uh, here. Why? And this is quite an interesting verse. Because love covers a multitude of sins. It's an interesting verse. And, I, I, you know, it, you might think, uh, forgiveness is in the Lord Jesus. Yes. But I think what this means is in a loving environment, in a, in a, ch in a church fellowship where there's love for one another, minor misunderstandings and offenses can be blown away they can be they're covered by people believing the best loving one another do you get the idea and sometimes you know sometimes there will be misunderstandings in 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 human relationships what was going on there what what and if, as we believe the best and love one another it covers those things and relationships grow and the church is built I, I think that's what it means love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins it's horrible to be in in an environment where where there's a very critical attitude of one another and misunderstandings quickly occur and thrive that's that's a horrible environment to be in and this speaks i think of something precious in the family of god where there's sincere deep love for one another that can cover small misunderstandings and offences covered gone forgiven forgotten yeah i think that's beautiful and i i'm going to finish off this morning praying that this will be true of us as a church family um let's go on verse nine offer 
hospitality to one another without grumbling. Isn't that lovely? Such an important part of the Christian life, hospitality. Opening our lives, our homes, and it's not just to our close friends. Hospitality, I'm pretty sure that word, if you break it up, means loving the stranger. Filio zitos, I believe, from memory. Um, filio, that's brotherly love, and uh, zitos, I think, is um, loving the stranger. Um, so it's, it's, it's having a, a heart for people and opening your home. And I think it's beautiful, uh, sitting around table. It's, uh, it's something very precious and uh, I hope it's part of your life and, and mine. So we love covering a multitude of sins, offer hospitality. That's an expression of our love for one another, isn't it? Hospitality. Um, without grumbling. Well, I mean, grumbling just spoils the whole thing and makes it pointless. Oh, blow, better do. No, <laughs> we, we don't want anything like that. Um, in fact, each one of you should use whatever gift you have, have received, to serve others. That, I love that. Um, that's the nature of gifts in the family of God. Um, you'll sometimes come across people who, their attitude seems to be, oh, I've got this this gift and where, where you know, I want people to recognise. No, 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 gifts are given to serve the body, to serve the family. And it, it, it's, uh, it's precious, it's beautiful. It's, it's um, notice it says there, each of you should use whatever gift you've received. You've been given a gift for the sake of the body. Because the Lord gives gifts, Jesus gives gifts to his church for the sake of his body, his family. So each of you should use whatever gifts you receive to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that precious? And um, I think, um, you know, I want to encourage us with that, be using our, our gifts for the glory of God, playing your part, not hanging back, not being a spectator, but just being in this lovely environment. In, in these urgent days, being in this lovely environment where there's a, a deep love for one another, a love that covers small offences and, and, and so on and so forth, and where there's hospitality, opening of homes and hearts to one another, using our gifts to serve one another, that heart for others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Isn't that beautiful? And I, I'm going to stop there and pray that that be true of us. Lord, I want to thank you for the, the beauty of, your, of your, your church, the family of God. It's, it's beautiful. I, I pray that in these days, in these urgent days, that you're, as it gets a bit darker in the world around us, that the, just the, the, the beauty of the church, lamp on a lampstand, will become greater and more noticeable. So I pray, Lord, I pray for us as a church family here in Norwich, Lord, that, that loving one another deeply, oh, please may that be true of us. Uh, love covering a multitude of misunderstandings and offences, using our gift to bless and serve one another. Lord, may we be like that in these urgent days to give glory to you, that people will look at us and say, wow, how they love one another, that's special. So please, Lord, I pray, may that be true of us for your glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, first time for a long time, I finished ahead of time. So uh, we're through in about nine minutes. <laughs> Have a great day. God bless. Bye now.